Primetime Live, man. I got a special guest in today, man. DJ Screech, man. Screech. Screech. What's happening, man? I got my boy here ready to talk some sports with me. And then we got a little hustle, a little thing. I want to tell about this hustle, what he got going on, man. Shout out to everybody in the building. Commander in Cheek in the building, man. Shout out to Sims, man. Shout out to Wayne Water. Shout out to Global. So I'm just going to shout out everybody, man. I'm paying bills. Man, shout out to Dangerous Paradise to Brian, man. Click the like in the description. Dangerous Paradise TV. And we out here running, man. What's up, Screech? What's up, brother? Man, I appreciate you. Last minute, saved a nigga life today. I you appreciate you calling me. Man. Last minute. <laughs> <laughs> a little had to bring. Hey, I had to got down, get the cooking, man, because I didn't know what to do. I really was like, oh, right, what the f- I'm going to bounce back. But I made it happen, man. So we here today. Up? Man, Screech, what you been working on lately, bro? Uh, Lately? I've been working on the morning show, bro, trying to be a host personality and be actually a personality, you know what I'm saying, other than myself. You know what I'm saying? Why you got to be by anybody besides yourself? You you DJ Screech, you feel me? You, you. You yeah, is you. Yeah, that don't work. Like, that don't work very well. You got to use your etiquette and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's really what it is. Yeah. Man, you got to know how to talk, bro, out here. Yeah, I don't want to be looking out rowdy, walking in the room out rowdy. People don't want to talk to me like these new <sighs> venues I'm trying to do. Touching different it's spaces. Downtime space I'm trying to get into. Woo! All it is, man. Is, all it is, man, is different environments. You gotta know what to bring in the environment, man. You can't walk in every environment. We can't walk in there all thawed out and whatnot. You gotta come in that bit. You know what I'm saying? They say the goddamn button up suit, the button up shirt is the most disarming shirt it is. And with black people. I made a lot in that black tee, so I ain't I feel you know, I ain't <laughs> quick to take it off. Shit, shout out to G's, he took it off. Huh? <laughs> shout out to G's, he took it off. Oh, yeah. Tilt took it off. He took it off. He took it off. But it's just now, that's a different type of money, though. But you're on your way. You're on your way, man. You're on your way. When we get down there, we, I might take it off, too. Man, yeah, I'm with you, bro. I got black tea on, too. So, yes, shit, you sir. know what's going on. Yes, <laughs> man, well, you know, what I tell you what been going on me, man. I've been working on the Primetime Live, man. Got the new logo. It dropped, man. Um, I put it out there. I got a good reception from it, so shit, we're gonna run with that. Um, you already know the Dangerous Paradise, though. You've been seeing that. What got you into this, bro? I ain't see that coming. I seen the clothing line. I seen the clothing line, like, but what got you into this? Like, this was a. This is a left field. This is a left field, like. Um, really, what goes on with this one, man? It's more so like, uh. Uh. I got dorm. I went to school for this type of thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm a mass comm major at D4 Valley State University, man. Graduated with that with a BA, so that's what they trained us how to do. But at the same time, I knew I wanted to, you know, as a kid, man, I'm watching BET. Mm-hmm. Shit, Rap City, The Basement, come on, you know what I'm saying? Hits from the streets, come on. They out here, MTV got VJs and stuff. They interviewing all the cool artists and talking shit with them, kicking Pippin, kicking Flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, I always want, I ain't gonna say I always wanted to be that, but I wanted to be in the mix, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't know how it, how it was gonna transpire, but man, what happened was, shout out to Andre Cook, man, hemp reps in, available, you know what I'm saying? Andre, Andre, Dr. Cook, man, Reverend Cook, mm-hmm. as we call him. Um, you know, I met him and whatnot, and he interviewed me and whatnot, and you know, he knew I was an alumni of Fort Valley, mm-hmm. a D Fort Valley State University. He was just like, shit, Fort man. Valley lit. Yeah, yeah, we lit, we down there. So he was just like, shit. He was like, bro, um, I'm gonna introduce you to somebody. Come to Cannabis and Conversation. Shout out to Cannabis and Conversation. Ain't that dropping about a week or two, Sims? About a, okay, coming, next coming. You gonna see me all over that, talking good shit, on, smoking we'll good hemp reps. <laughs> all I ain't right, got so on no hemp shit, good leafs. Good leafs, you know, ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, so, um, and like, you know, he introduced me to Sims and, and, and I was like, bro, I really was already thinking about shooting some stuff in my garage, like on some rap city basement shit. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, well, I don't know. And Sims was, Sim was like, shit, man, I've been thinking about doing a sports show anyway. And I was like, shit, I know about basketball, bro. Yeah. And I got friends that know about football that are filling my gaps. Yeah. So we can make it work. And we've been running from since then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know how to talk to people, I know how to enjoy people, so it wasn't gonna it wasn't hard at all. That basketball thing, yeah. By the decisions you told me you made recently, I ain't I mean I didn't bet I, I mean really, I didn't put down too hard much you know, on the, the Clippers like that. You cool on basketball. I just say that you cool on it. But I mean I was everything need improvement, bro. 
I mean, you right. You right, man. I, I gamble wrong on basketball, but shit, I, I, I scrolled with a football last year, though. You got it, though. Predict the guy. You got it to lose, though. You got it. Oh, uh, here you go. Here you go. But shit, I I just like Kawhi Leonard. But see, you know, there was shout out to the, the NBA bubble. It was something different. Kawhi, going. though. Huh? Kawhi, do you like Kawhi? Why do I like Kawhi? No, nah, Kawhi, do you like Kawhi? Why do you like Kawhi? Why do I like Kawhi Leonard? Yeah. Oh, Kawhi. okay. Because okay. So he did the the year before. That why? No, I really actually liked him when he was on the Spurs. Jay, I ain't gonna just hound you down about it, but oh, you can give me shit. Why I did I'm man? Just asking. Why Spurs. You like him, bro? What he I like on the Spurs. Bro, he really didn't lock LeBron up on the Spurs, but he played good defense both Le- ways, and he gave LeBron buckets, and he helped them boys defeat them boys in the chip. Now you think thirty points is good defense? Thirty points is not good defense. Hey, make sure I said to a six eight thirty to, points to a defense. six eight to a six eight two seventy five person that runs like a deer. Of course, thirty points is how shit. tall Kawhi Leonard is sit two. Nah, hell no. Nah. All right, he's man. same height as Michael Jordan. Exactly. So you can't. What, what, how tall Michael Jordan? Six six. That's great. That mean that's great. I too. mean, he was playing good defense, man. He was giving that. He was doing shit that you didn't see on the stat shit against LeBron. You feel mm-hmm. me? But people well, don't want to. I ain't see the highlights either. Shit, just know, bro. You you I mean, go. You go home with a you. You can go home with an L. Yeah. You go Brandy home with an L. You know. Oh yeah, I mean. But uh, you don't think you don't think I uh, everybody be on LeBron about these super teams, right? But you don't think um, the Spurs was a super team? You're talking about the year they won, they beat. Uh, yeah. You don't think it was a super team? Technically, if you had to line up the Spurs that beat LeBron, that beat LeBron against the Lakers right now, super team. Or okay. The, Cavaliers super team or the Heat's super team. Okay, that's that a, that's how you throwing it at me. Okay, so check asking. this out. So I want yeah. you to feel this. All right. So with that being said, man, Tony Parker was on. Tony Parker, Tony Parker was on his last leg. Uh, Tim Duncan was one year from retiring. Uh, G Nobly was over with. He had cut his hair. He had have no more hair no more. G Nobly had a whole low cut now. You feel me? So it was a whole different thing going on right now, man. These boys was older men, man. Um, I don't know if you saw the play when Tim Duncan the year they uh when Ray Ray hit the shot. Tim Duncan smoked a a wide open layup, and we haven't out of all the years I watched basketball, I ain't never seen Tim smoke a layup like that, mm-hmm. and it was point blank. Mm-hmm. So I knew he was older. You know what I'm saying? Kawhi had the keys. You feel me? So and then Tony Parker shot them out of the game, but they won't came back and whooped LeBron ass the next year. Don't 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 remember. And Kawhi went off. And you know who he was working with that summer? Who was on the bench who teaching him? Tracy. No, but the year before, that year before when he had cl- kind of slowed him down, kind of gave LeBron a little defense, you know, somebody played defense. He was working with Tracy McGrady. McGrady. That improved the jump shot of Kawhi. And the ball handling skills. Then the following year I worked with Kobe Bryant. But shit, who else want to see me after that? If I work with Tracy McGrady, a nigga that takes two dribble and pull up on anybody, yeah. and a dude that damn near is Michael Jordan's clone, could have been arguably like the number one and the number Kobe two. Bryant. Yeah, Kobe Bryant's Michael Jordan's clone. I go for that. He's he's definitely Michael's clone. I go for that. I ain't, I ain't Nobody wants to see Kobe Bryant on Michael Jordan debate. Nah, I, anybody. I, I don't want to smoke. Oh, I ain't saying you. I did. might say I might say Kobe a little better than Jordan. He took more shots. I'm gonna say Kobe better than John. He had a reason to take more shots. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan Re- didn't take Re- really. All right, so check this out. He he took way more shots, and on the simple fact of taking way more shots, of course you got more field goal attempts. So you're gonna get you probably make average a little higher points. Shit, if I'm man, if I'm shooting that bit fucking fifty times, I better average about thirty points. Yeah, right. I'm getting the rock every time I want it. You feel me? Like at any spot. And black, why they call him the Black Mama? Because he hissing for the ball. People don't know that. Mm. He calling for the ball like that the whole time. Fine. I ain't know that. You, you didn't know that. You gotta go new. watch him. You shit. R. I. P. To him, man. We. I wish. I wish we. I wish we could have. The whole thing. I wish we could have watched him again, like on some real shit. Like I, I never got to see Kobe play, bro. Like, I did, but I didn't. Like the All Star game, I did get to see him play. Coach. What you mean, like live, or you mean like? Live yes, uh, but on I was, TV, anything you weren't really watching it then. I was really watching it, but the thing was when I first seen them in person, and when I first I met Kobe Bryant when I was in like seventh, eighth grade, bro. Yeah, they came the All Star game to a uh, came to Atlanta. Me and twins talk about this all the time. Global mm-hmm. Soul, man. We met them as kids, bro. And at the time, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really like man, I didn't really like Kobe then, but I'm like yeah. trying to be Mike, dog. Like yeah, yeah, you trying yeah. to be Mike, you really was doing being Mike. 
And then, you know, T-Mac was out there. KG was out there. Yeah. And this, bro, that game, that All-Star game I went to, bro, Michael Jordan, it was Michael Jordan on the Wizards. So he still was getting buckets. Mm -hmm. Just an old, an old, cool lad, 37, 38-year-old man out there hooping yeah. with the young nigga, man. 38, how old? Mike was about 38 when then. 37, 38. Brian about 38 now. He about, he, uh, Brian 35. Yeah, he close to it, He thir It's a different, it's a different game, bro. I think bro. Brian will do Michael Jordan bad. One Hold on. Why? Hold on. You think Mike will, like, you talking about, like, they played one-on-one. -on -one, a game about 12. I don't see Mike scoring. Pause. I don't see Mike scoring. You, against, against LeBron James? Hold on. Which one I need to look at, bro? Let me say it again. I don't see Mike scoring. <laughs> I'm here. Well, Mike, later. well, hold on. Let me let me tell you this. I tell you this though. The Mike that went to the Olympics will fuck LeBron James up, bro. I don't care what LeBron you put out there, bro. If he gon' he gonna get any <laughs> shot he want. You saw okay, Kobe, check this out. Kobe never won Kobe won like two or three games against LeBron and like some like just regular games. Mm -hmm. But them games, bro, but Kobe shooting that bit, the air out that bit. I'm talking about he's skinning LeBron ass. LeBron doing LeBron shit, passing the ball, dunking. To make it still, but every time the bitch come down I one think, on one, mano a mano, Kobe skinning that bitch up. And so you think Mike want skin that bit up? That's why I think LeBron is the best player uh, ever. Pass, pass first mentality because he passed the rock. He can still get thirty points with passing the ball, thirty points with like with ten assists without having to hold the ball. These other guys, rest piece Kobe. I mean, yeah, rest piece Kobe. I ain't gonna put him in it. I'm gonna put him in it. Right, These so other guys, they have 30 point two assists. All right, but check this Rich out. Rich Kobe was great, man. Hey, hey, hey. But listen. Well, hey. Okay, so when they call that timeout, what are they asking for LeBron to do? What if LeBron? What are they asking for Michael Jordan to do? What? They're asking Mike to go put the ball in the hole the whole time. They t he playing defense. You can't say he ain't playing defense. Mike clamping. Mm -hmm. Mike ain't. Oh yeah, Mike ain't taking the switch either. LeBron James. I like LeBron. I like LeBron, but he's not taking the switch off the ball, bro. You paying, you paying guys a million, fifteen million, or the other guys, all this to not take no last shot. These guys better be ready for the last Le shot. You gotta have your players ready just in case. So if LeBron don't drop thirty, you know who they gonna guard at the end. So why you want him pulling up in front of seven people? You want LeBron Shit. to be able to dish it to Kuzma and Kuzma hit that shot. Kuzma I mean, go hit that shot if that's he ain't the right scored all I mean, day. If the, if, I if mean, he ain't scored all game. But knowing LeBron, shot? LeBron did probably put a rhythm in for Kuzma, uh, been passing them to Kuzma in the ball in that corner the whole time. Could be. They just ain't stopping it. So what will happen is LeBron going to make the right basketball play. If you watch him play, he ain't going to goddamn force nothing. You know what I'm saying? He's going to make the right read. That's how, I ain't going to lie, that's how I was taught to play basketball. Like, if you're getting double team, make the kick to the right player. That's how you, he plays the right way. Let me tell you but why. he's not a killer. You let me tell you he's why a killer Kobe took a that last one. shot. Kobe going to shoot that bitch. Kobe took that last shot. I'm gonna make it. Right he took that last shot because he knew damn well he ain't passing to these boys all game. So, <laughs> we know the, they're official, Cole. That's the, oh, but that's the concept of the Kobe, triangle. Kobe literally had all centers. <laughs> you could have just gave Kobe all centers and rebounded. But, but he was fine. I can't take nothing away from him. Kobe was the, he, the, he was Kobe the, the Mamba. I ain't going to say mom. the GOAT, but the all right, so so, Cole, so check this out. Kobe Kobe had Paul Gasol, one of the best big men in the league at the time, when he won that second, uh, with them second two. Mm -hmm. Paul Gasol was a monster in Memphis. He probably was bad. He was old. Probably five, if you want to say best. Maybe number five, six. Paul, man, Paul was one seven, of my favorite six. centers when I was a kid. Paul from Memphis. Yeah, at Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies, it was tough. You had the White Howard to choose from. You had yeah, Andrew Perkins to choose from. You had Big I, Baby to choose from. I, you had. I'm going to give you hell with them names you name it. But you chose. Powell? Powell? Yeah. Powell, give them boy The names. All right, Dwight Howard, okay, I'll take that. That was the guy. That was the guy, but check this out. That was the He's, guy. Yeah, but, if you, you know. If you add me, Kobe took him. Kobe, Kobe messed him up. He messed him up mentally. Um, yeah. But Paul yeah. Gasol was dropping them boys off in the playoffs when they played uh, Dwight in the playoffs. Paul, Kendrick Perkins lost, I mean, lost to them, them Lakers. You know what I'm saying? He played, Kendrick played good defense, but he ain't man, put back a couple dunks playing good defense. Yeah, I give him that, but shit. Paul Gasol was a tough, tough, a tough power forward, man. 
Then he was battling KG out there in the in the Lakers when he was a Laker. Yeah. KG was a Celtic. KG still like had that goat mentality. Yeah, KG was that guy. Yeah. You saying he did KG? You saying that on camera? I mean, he, he was going at KG net. KG was the defensive player of the year they won the chip. But uh, shit, the next year, shit, Andrew Bynum made a big difference on that team. Andrew Bynum was great. Andrew Bynum was very much great. Real but Screech, man, tell me. So, like, man, what, what they can catch you at, man, beside the radio station, man? Have you been DJing any other places? Uh, You can catch me. I try to stay like, everywhere. So, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm not in the locking in the clubs right, right now. Right, right, right. So, my schedule really ain't too much the same as last week. Right. I, you catch me making here at the Mac, or you catch me at Kiss Lounge in yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. So, I don't like All over the place. Man. I like that shit. Yeah, I want to. I don't, 10 years from now, I don't want to be the best middle Georgia DJ. I want to be. I like that. I want to be able to touch everywhere. You're like, Screech, Screech everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So, really, I'm going where the hood at. All right, I would be funny, dog. Up. Y'all folks dropping us off with that same playlist y'all was giving us from The Rock. Like, I don't forgot. But mm-hmm. anyway, I ain't going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. But I love y'all, boys. Okay, so, all right. So, yeah, I heard, <laughs> I heard, I heard, I heard somebody say something about that, right? So. I kind of agree with them. Yeah, it's a lot of old stuff that's still getting played. But y'all think hit music coming out today? It's a lot of it music to y'all. It's not to um, you. The music is really like what we listening recyclable. to. Recyclable. Right Tell me the date that was. Uh, oh, that's 2018, out. right there, sir. You feel me? It's still technically old. It's they some, did. It's some new Rick Ross out. This is this is Nip right here, but this is this is when he should have. The year he actually should have won the Grammy, and they're gonna give it to him the next year. The assholes, you gave it to Cardi B. Nip had the best CD out by far. Yeah. R.I.P. It took him to die for y'all to realize that, bro. Like, I had been listening to it then since then, but um, I think I'm, that's my generation. That's what that's the I problem. I don't think now, me personally, like the last album Nip to put out, I, I, I per, as a DJ, I don't think it would have been like overlooked. You know what I'm saying? I think it would still be a hit album, a number one album. That. Yeah. That last album was fucking dope. It don't matter if he was alive or dead. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it took them for them to die for them to realize, nah, I realize that. that. But see, when you when you talk about the old music, I mean, rest in peace. I mean, shit, this can be a lyrical rapper all yeah. you want, but if it's boring or it's not yeah. catching, it's still gonna be overlooked until you put some right. out in your lane that catches you. That last album caught you. Yeah, he died, but it caught you. You know what I'm uh, saying? Like it was, you're pretty fine. He he kind of. Find itself, but well, he caught me in can't. college, so it was a little different. Yeah, see, I wasn't no nip. I, I yeah. listened to Nipsey, but it wasn't no reason for me to just keep going Hop back. Off. Boom, boom, boom. I can't even that he passed. I can't go back to no old Nipsey before this album and say I want to hear this. All right, so check this out. I'm gonna give you a spin real fast. For I caught them boys in college. Them boys caught me in college. It's like 2000. I went to college in 2017. Graduated in like 12. All right, so the thing, yeah, man. This is the Crenshaw album right here, man. The first hundred dollar mixtape, hundred dollar mixtape, right here on this too. Um, from that mixtape alone with DJ Drama, he musically changed sonically. Mm. Better engineers, better everything was mm-hmm. coming around him. So he grew better. He grew better with time. So when you heard Victory Lap, mm-hmm. that was it, him growing. And, uh, it was that was just like I'm out here. That's just yeah. like the icing on the cake. It's just like when Tupac put out Me Against the World. It's nothing you can do against. You can do with him. After that, he was gone. But man, Prime Time Live, man, I got DJ Screech in them. Everybody take a break, man. We'll be right back, man. Prime Time Live, baby. 106 and Dangerous, yeah. Hustle 101.